All right. Good morning. Good afternoon. Good evening. It's Tragic Life here. Um, last video, we finally started back with the storyline, kind of, because uh, I've done done collected all of the challenge dungeons and all the items in there. And last video, we actually flew around picking up all the small tales and all the little secret items. I ended the last video saying I think this is where Riddy is going to be getting her summons and no I misunderstood what the writing was. Um, Kaipo has been taken over by stealth. So you can fight them all, don't. Uh, you don't get much from them and if you kill them all you can't get you can't get Riddy or Sylph. Um, you can't get her the self summon. Even if you never use it, you still want to get it. Okay. So, instead, we're going to head to the upper right. Scholarly looking woman who came here earlier suffering from desert fever. This was before the moon covered the sky. My grandfather told me that he himself once nursed a woman stricken with the fever back to health. Perhaps it is our family's fate to help such wanderers. This man drifted ashore with his daughter near the eastern dock. Apparently they were shipwrecked. His face was colored with a de deathly pallor, and yet he carried the poor girl on his back all the way to Kaipo. Families can be quite a powerful source of strength at times, wouldn't you say? The experience was terribly taxing on both of them, though. We can only hope they take a turn for the better. Yeah, that's right. They were on the boat that was attacked by the giant thing in the ocean, remember? Yang. Ursula. Yang. Yang. Ursula. Times like these, it sure would be nice to have Rosa with us. But all the cure magic in the world means nothing if his consciousness is already gone. Alright, so we got a problem. Hmm. What is this problem? Hmm. All right, we're going to do one more thing before we leave here. Tella, Anna. Once again, the world is facing a chaotic maelstrom of war and violence. Now, more than ever, I hope we may receive your loving protection. And I hope you are there for Edward too, wherever he may be. Huh? Well, tell it, Anna. May you continue to grant me your loving protection. So, do I get one for this one? I do. Anna, daughter of the great and gentle sage, rest in this desert oasis surrounded by eternal love. All right. We go ahead and leave now. We don't need to be here. We are now going to have to... Where did I park my plane? All right, there's two foot hell flappers and two caterpillars. I don't know if you can hear the ice maker in the background, but yeah, it's loud. All right, we're going to go ahead to Fabu, and I think, if I remember correctly, we're going to go up here. And then across. I might be wrong. I'm hoping not. Okay, yeah. We, no, I think we're right. All right. We go to Fabu. Thought I was a little too close. Okay. Who goes there? Wait, I know them. It's been a very long time. Lady Rydia and Edge of Eblon. The situation with the moon has thrown the entire world into disarray. How have things been a fabu? I fear that the sylphs have been laying siege to our castle. What? The moon must be depicting them in some unfathomable way. Seems to be that way. Unfathomable. I like that word. Uh, I, I didn't see what it said. I'm sorry, guys. Alright, so we're going to enter the castle, ignore them all, head to the throne room.
Sheila. Oh, Rydia. And here is Lord Edge, too. Are you doing okay? Yes, but I'm afraid Yang is in far worse shape. Of course, he's the kind that never gives up. I figured this would happen. But at least we know he's alive and well, Sheila. Indeed, I would have expected nothing less from Yang and Ursula. And I want you to have this. Right, man! My husband needs this right now. As for Ursula... Okay, we got a ladle. Yeah, don't ask. What, no knife this time? What's that? You need another one? Sorry, but I'm all out of stock. Anyway, I want all of you to be careful out there. Okay, before we leave, get the X-Potion here, and I believe there's a treasure area over here. Alright, Phoenix down, a cottage, and a decoy. I'm not going to do it, but you can check the, uh, if you check the towers, the left one has a Hermes Sandal across Phoenix down Bronze Hourglass, and the right one has a Bacchus Wine and a High Potion, as well as a Small Tail. However, we're, I don't feel like chasing those. You've seen me get those treasures. None of those are going to be treasures I use. The Phoenix down, maybe, but, I mean, I've got 99 of those, I think. Yeah, so I can't even get it. Oh, I got someone blind. All right, so eye drops. I'm blind yourself, buddy. Alright, so we're gonna go back, all the way back out. And we're gonna go back to. Kaipo. I feel like that's a shorter route. All right, that was four goblin captains. All right. Now we're going to go ahead get out of my way. And we're going to go ahead and... Yay! Ursula. Hope this does the trick. Whoa, whoa, what are you? You use the frying pan. Ooh. Come on, Sheila, let me sleep a little longer. Yang. This is just ludicrous. It is kind of weird. Really at edge, he's dying, but if you hit him with a frying pan, he wakes up. What? You two are quite the couple, you know that? Ursula, where's Ursula? Don't worry, she's right next to you. Do not fret over me, you need to wake up Ursula. Ursula? This is Yang's daughter? She looks so pale and gaunt, something must be done and fast. Hit her with a ladle, Ursula. Don't overexert yourself, Yang. She's moving. Hey Rita, can you help me deal with this? I don't have the nerve to hit a lady. Oh, mother, is father out training again? Ursula. Father. Mother's love triumphs over, triumphs over all, huh? What the heck is up with this family? I mean, it's weird. The Sils. Yang, you were willing to risk your life for the sake of your child. 
As much as it pains me to say it, you are far stronger than any of us. You. Thanks to you, we have finally returned to normal. For now, both of you must rest. We would gladly lend you our powers. Thank you, my sylphs. Yay! She has a, we've got sylphs now. The sylph summon. It's pretty good right now because we don't have a white mage. Okay. You got fans in high places, don't you, Yang? So this Mylaze has even reached the Eidolon King himself. Rydia. Come on, Rydia. Your bonds with the Eidolons aren't going to lose. Aren't going to lose to something like this, are they? You're right. I will bring them all back. So you are headed to Baron as well? Yes. Fortunately, Baron Castle is protected by the same glow we saw covering the Tower of Babel. We will find a way. We can combine the Eidolon's power with ours. Anything is possible. Let's get moving then. Father. And I'm afraid not, yeah. Not you. What? You need to recover first. You've got a wife and daughter relying on you. Remember that. Yes, you are right about that. How delightful it is to see all of you again, Cecil. We had a promise, let's have the crystals. Lost the water, wind, and fire crystals. With this, all of the crystals are back in our grasp. Back, you say. Yes. Cecil. Stay back, Rosa. Okay, so we're now ready. Okay. Okay, we got some bands to work on. Um, now let's go do that now. Uh, well, yeah, let's go do it now. Hold on. Alright, the first one we have is Edge and Rydia. And we we ban their attacks. Okay, Edge and Rydia, I said. Alright, what do you mean ban belt? Okay, did I see something? Hold on. Okay, we can't do that one. She has to have a, a bow. Uh, so give me a second. Um, okay, so we'll do Luca. We do her big throw with Edge's Ninjutsu and Rydia's Black Magic. Get the flare tornado. All right, give me a second.
Alright, let's try this again. Alright, we need Edge and Radio, so... So, we take their attacks. Now we should get something. Broken Heart. Okay, I don't even know what to say to that. I'm gonna, I'm gonna be honest with you, that was weird. Alright, so we're gonna go ahead and remove... All right, so from here, we're on a flight at the Mossian. Can I, can I right here? Okay, quick buzzing phone. Okay. A little too quiet, don't you think? There are people inside, I can feel it. Let's go. Alright, so it's gonna be overrun by something, but well, I, that's the question. Oh, well. Ant lions. You know these monsters? Did they overrun the entire country while we were away? Ant lions are normally peaceful, docile animals. I've never heard of them harming people before. It must be the moon then. Well, it's either us or them. Wait. Rydia, please spare their lives. They're not the ones that fall here. If they attack me, they die. Fair enough. I'll go easy on them when I can't afford to. Ah, it's not going to mess with that. Yeah, don't. There's no point in killing them. We're going to go to the throne room. Who goes there? Halt! <sighs> you are Rydia Mist. I am, and I believe you are Harley, Royal Secretary King Edward. I thought so. You've accompanied Edward to many missed many times. Where is Edward? Oh, he joined Rosa and Xero on a ship to Baron. And we all know the mess that Baron's been since then. Who knows what could have happened to them. <clears throat> I have faith in King Edward. He isn't someone who would fall into the enemy's hands so easily. You're right. We will guard the, this castle with all of our forces. Our Lord's fate we will leave in your hands. Please, you must take me with you. I reconsider that. There isn't. This isn't exactly what... This isn't exactly staid clerical work here. I would like to formally request she join you as well, sir. What? There is no one in the world who cares more for our Lord than you, Harley. Chancellor. Be that as it may, I can't just bring a mere secretary into a full-on battle. You can come with us, but only until we meet Edward again, okay? Oh, thank you, thank you. You can stay inside the Falcon until we track him down. I'm sure your advice will prove invaluable in times of need. Y yes, ma'am. All right, so we just picked up another character. Um, all right, the right tower here has a decoy and a bomb core. I'm not going after because I don't care. Um, book Harley's bookcase has a small tail. On our way out, take a right just outside the castle treasure room for three X potions of Phoenix Down. Uh, we're going to go ahead and do that one. So I'm not going to do the tower ones because I don't really care about some of the, the clone and the emergency exit. But Okay, let's see what we got. We got some good stuff in here. If I can find the... Phoenix down, X potion, emergency exit. That's not all there is. There's actually better than that. I don't want to fight you, so leave me be. 
that's a big one okay we got a either x potion red fang i don't care about the red fang don't care about the white fang don't care about the blue fang i don't know what that was another x potion another either and a diamond shield i don't think anyone needs the diamond shield let's see All right. <sighs> okay. All right, we're good. We can go ahead and leave here now. We're going to head to Troya. Looks like we're in the right area, so we're going to go into Troya here. I'm not going to get every item, just letting you know. Um, kind of want the explosion, so we'll go ahead and do that. You've seen us get these all the time, so... Only after the explosion. You can also get a either dry either either, which are good as well. Okay, we got them all. Cool. The merchants are working here, but they don't have anything of worth. Um, okay, we're done here. We go ahead and exit the town. I'm sorry, guys. We're going to go ahead and enter the castle. It's been completely frozen over. Oh, no. Oh, yeah. What is it? I'm guessing. We have to hurry. Okay. Okay, we're gonna do an optional scene. We're gonna go get to the crystal room. It's optional. Whoa. But I like optional. Troya's crystal is gone too. It must have been here. What is it? Where could he be at a time like this? You mean Palom? Well, remember when the Red Wings were attacking us? He was on a black chocobo head to do north. The area north of Troy is covered in mountains and forest. Wait, this reminds me of something Master Sid mentioned. He speaks of a cave northeast of Troy filled with spirits and monsters. Care to give it a look? Absolutely. We can land right here, isn't that cool? All right. All right, it was two Nagas and a Nagaraja. All right, so the recovery rod is weird. Um, not weird, but um, so it actually drops your defense a bit and drops your intelligence however um, it can heal the party for around 400 well, if we use it as a so he actually recommends putting the recovery rod on um, which is fine um, again we don't have a white mage so that works if you're gonna use if you're using gob as a, as a mage give him the rod instead has a bigger boost to intelligence than the enhancement sword 
So that's kind of cool. Um, I'm... Alright, there's another... That was the exact same fight as last time. Well, head to blah blah blah. We're going the right way. Before we go to the exit, it's gonna be a no. We're not fighting the white moose. Should be a unicorn horn, which I'll sell. All right. <clears throat> Down here, head up to the our three black lizards. Okay. I have a stone golem. Is this what I'm looking for? Yeah, coral whiskers. Because why not? Further north and right. A Nagaraja and a vampire bat. Alright, so what's going on here? Three vampire bats. Nope. That was a cottage, and over here is going to be Hermes. Alright, two more Nagas and a Nagaraja. Hermes sandals, alright. Nagaraja and a vampire bat. A big nope. Alright, so we're going to go left to the stairs. Alright, the door here has a save point, so we'll go ahead and do that, because why not? These videos might be a little bit longer than normal um, because I'm, I'm going to be trying to do a page each so we can get through this. Um, I think I can afford it at this point. You may get a bit lo little bit longer of videos, but we'll be getting through this quicker. All right. Fire bad and Nagaraja jumped us. Silver hourglass, a diamond helm, and a dry either. Awesome. Or not. I don't really know. Chimera and two Nagarajas. Same exact fight. Okay, go to the left. Three vampire bats and a vampiress. Okay, so. Same exact bite. Okay, so we're here now. Which way are we going? Go left first. Should be a light curtain, cool. Oh, I said. Oh, get gone. Alright. Okay, we got a remedy here. Two stone golems. There is a secret path here. This is something I missed when I ran through here originally. He's not sleeping, but he's like shivering. Put a blanket on him. Okay. Okay, I think if we go this way, a, a, a Nagaraja, hold on. Two strong golems. I think we're supposed to go in the door. Wait, what? Okay, I'm confused. I think I'm the wrong way. I don't think I'm supposed to go there. 
I should probably cottage though. Cause we do have a boss fight coming up. Alright. A Chimera and two Nagarajas. Seems to be the common fight in this area. They're not too difficult. We're gonna go backwards. I saw what it wanted me to do now. The vampire bats and a vampires. Chimera, Nagaraja, and a vampire bat. Diamond gloves. Wait. Two stone golems. Alright, so let me check the skeletons. One of these skeletons has a small tail. Oh, two more stone golems. Sorry, I said it early. Alright. This can't be happening, not to you too. Not you too. <clears throat> Would fire or flame do anything to help him? This is no ordinary ice covering their bodies. Oh. It is diamond dust. Shiva. So don't kill Shiva. Um, we lose her forever. You want to do damage until Rydia says she's about to wake up. Then stop attacking. So the way we're going to do is Shiva, it's me, Rydia. You're wasting your time, Rydia. Give me back my Palom. So we're going to... We're going to hit her with one of these. We're going to cast Flyraga. But we have to be careful here that we do not... Overboard it. She stopped. Now is our chance. Hold it, Shiva. She just wants to get back to normal. I'm sure of it. So at this point, we're not going to attack. What we're going to do is we're going to heal. You. It is you, Rydia. Shiva. Uh, what was I doing? Yeah, if you end up killing her, you, you can't... You won't unlock her. She, so you won't get her as a summon. So, yeah, don't, don't kill her. Palom. Ha! Who said anything about giving up... Give me back to Crystal. Wait, what? Palom. Huh? What are you doing here, Luca? Am I dead? Or what? Don't be ridiculous. You're alive and so am I, for your information. Leonora. Palom. Don't worry me like that, Leonora. Palom. Let's get them back to Troya. Who's that woman with you anyway? Her? She's my partner. My, my name is Leonora. It's an honor to meet all of you. Where's Purim? She's not with you. No, we were planning to visit Mesidia afterwards and then I'm coming with you. You can't leave, not yet. I could hear her shouting to me, guys. She needs me. All right, but no fighting for you. You'll stay back inside the Falcon. 
<laughs> Who died and made you my master? If you don't like it, then rest up until you can fight on your own. No problem. That's exactly what I'm going to do. Thank you very much. Oh, brother, he's exactly as I once. Once upon a time. Hmm. I, I want to come with you. Leonora. Now look. We're not done yet, are we? You haven't finished teaching me all the magic you know. Huh. Good point. What's this? Do you seriously intend to cross swords with me? If you wish for it, Cain. And this is the man you've placed your trust in, Theodore, over your own flesh and blood. Stay behind me, Theodore. Theodore. It's still gonna be a long chapter because I don't. I think we're close, but we still got another city to go to. Huh. I await your answer, Theodore. Cecil. Oh, what's going on here? I wasn't ready for a fight. Hold on, wait. So one of the cool things is if you're if you go onto the Falcon and check the upper level, there's actually a bed you can rest in for free. What's wrong, Kane? Are you being serious? Yikes. Okay, so we can move. There was a hidden tail we could have grabbed, but I don't care. Um, blast da 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 da. Where are we headed now? Wait. We're gonna fly. We're going to Agar now, but I don't remember exactly where that is. Huh. I feel like it's this way. All right, give me a second. Be right back. I've actually decided 40 minutes is a long time, so I'm going to go ahead and cut this from now, and we will go ahead and continue our journey. I don't feel like we have that much left, but uh, I don't know how long it's going to take to get there. So until next time, adios amigos. I'll meet you at Agart.